what's going on guys dials 46 and we're back for a review and not just any review we're doing a gear review of a really cool piece of kit from a company you guys probably know as LBX Tactical. If you don't already know, LBX Tactical is kind of the little brother of LBT that makes some really cool gear, contract gear for some really cool guys out there. Some of that stuff is a little hard to get your hands on and the price points make it a little bit harder. So LBX basically is a economic version of LBT. So specifically, we're talking about the lock and load chest rig from LBX. Really digging this thing, man. Got mine in Ranger Green, uh, myself and my buddy, Mr. Elite Force Eric. Uh, we got them um, a couple weekends ago at American Milson's Faded Giant, where we played op for. And we put these things through the ringer uh, as far as falling down, um, <clears throat> you know, kind of roughing these things up dragging ourselves over them as they kind of rub against concrete, gravel, things like that. So we did a pretty good job on them. Um, and they held up, man. No fraying, no ripping, nothing like that. The only thing I will say is that under extreme stress, um, you know, if you get to on the ground type thing, doing a low crawl or whatever, you might see that the zipper pops open. However, there was no teeth missing or anything like that in the one incident where it did occur. Uh, and I was able to zip it right back up. So it's actually kind of a good thing that it kind of came apart or else maybe it would have broke a tooth. So that's the closest thing to a con that happened with this chest rig while I was running it. Now before we go too far, let me also tell you guys that I'm a big guy. I know a lot of you guys out there that are larger gentlemen follow me and uh, take my word pretty good as far as what to look for and what to buy when it comes to big boy friendly gear. This is definitely big boy friendly as is most chest rigs you'll find out there. Uh, but there's a lot of adjustments in the back. Uh, the back strapping and in the shoulders, which is nice, a nice adjustable H harness in the back, which is super nice. Um, so definitely big boy friendly. Or if you need to wear it over soft or hard armor or something like that, you can size it up and size it down to darn near any size for whatever your needs are or whatever your body size is. Now you're going to have four main magazine compartments across the front. Uh, they're going to be default sized for M4 Stenag type magazines. Uh, each pouch will hold two AR type mag Stenag mags. Uh, in the front, right in the middle, you're gonna have that zipper. So if you need to go prone, if you need to low crawl, if you need to take this thing off quick, uh, especially when you get some hard armor or soft armor on underneath this, it's easy to unzip this guy uh, up, which is nice, and it'll come right open. So, and then re-zipping is a cinch. Nice big YKK style zipper. No, it is a YKK zipper. Nice big YKK brand zipper on this thing uh, with nice big zipper teeth. So even with gloves and the cold, if it's wet, muddy, whatever, shouldn't be an issue getting that thing zipped back up. On the left side of the rig, on the last um, M4 mag pouch, you're gonna have an exterior pouch that has an additional secondary flap on it. Um, that's gonna be there to hold two magazines or anything in similar size. So if you have flashlights or any multi-tools, things like that, uh, whatever you fit in there, really nice. And then again, it's got its own flap, which makes retention awesome for any size items that you're holding in there. And you just pull down the Velcro flap for the AR mag and it's good to go. So you can see on a couple of the M4 pouches in the middle here, I wanted to have quick access to these pouches. Uh, so there are flaps actually, but I folded them into the pouch so I could have quicker access to those. It does have elastic in it right behind where the Velcro goes down. So retention, even on a single magazine, as you guys can see, is good to go for sure. Uh, now on the right side of the chest rig, you're gonna have a, uh, another similar pouch with a dual pouch system. Uh, and this one's made to hold batteries or whatever else you need to put in there that's gonna be similarly sized. Uh, batteries for your night vision, things like that. Um, can of dip actually squeezes in there pretty good. I don't dip, but if you wanna do that, you can. On either side of the rig, you're gonna have uh, very generously sized general purpose pouches, um, which hold whatever you need. Uh, extra ammo, smoke grenades, whatever. Um, batteries, things like that. Chips, granola bars, beef jerky. BBs. So whatever you need there. Nice and big, man. Got a lot of stuff in those. Very really comfortable. Um, and then on the external of the general purpose pouch, you're going to have a frag pouch, uh, which has actually internal strapping to put the, uh, put the spoon of the grenade through uh, to keep it nice and cinched in there as well. So there you go. That's going to be the same on both sides. Behind both general purpose pouches on either side of this chest rig, you're going to have space for a embitter style radio or similar size items like a bottle of BBs or what have you. So uh, it's going to have Molly going up each padded shoulder strap, which is really nice. You can see here I have my Elite Force Kill Rag. Boom, boom. Good to go on that. 
plenty of extra webbing. So again, if you need to size up, size down, it's gonna work for however you wanna wear this rig. If you wanna wear it in conjunction with hard armor, soft armor, if you're a big body, little body, whatever you wanna do, man, it's gonna work for you for sure. It's uh, all size friendly. So this is gonna be in 500D, which is a great compromise between durability and weight, making this chest rig super lightweight for sure. Uh, again, back to durability, man. So you guys are like, oh yeah, airsoft, cool, man. How much are you actually, you know, what, what kind of ring are you putting this thing through? What kind of, what kind of stress test are you doing? Well, here you go, check this out. <clears throat> I was wearing this kit uh, in the back, none of the buckles fell, none of the webbing, none of the stitching broke loose, and that's me going down a shell rock um, very jagged and uncomfortable hillside, sliding down with this on my chest, as well as falling down repeatedly and dragging myself over concrete, gravel, things like that, uh, playing as opposing force at uh, Faded Giant a couple weekends ago. So the LBX Lock and Load Chester is gonna be available in a few different colors here and camouflages. Uh, you can get this thing in Ranger Green, Wolf Gray, Coyote Brown, Multicam, and then of course you can get it in LBX's camouflage patterns as well. They have it in their Inland Taipan, the Cayman, and the Snow Raptor. Snow Raptor is actually pretty cool. This thing clocks in the coin meter at about $120. Um, I'd say worth it for sure. The other big point I want to make before finishing this video is that LBX being a part of London Bridge Trading LBT, uh, it does offer the lifetime warranty against craftsmanship or material defects. So if anything goes wrong on this that you think is a factory error, they got your back. Um, so that's good to know for sure. That's not going to cover like setting on a fire or cutting webbing or you get it. Anyways, nice to know that they have your back and, and they offer, you know, they'll back up their workmanship for sure. So there you go, guys. If you're on the market for a new chest rig, definitely give the LBX lock and load chest rig a little bit of love. You might like it. We'll check you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.